Hi there, and welcome to Hectic Eclectic. Today we're going to talk about used books. Are new books really better than used books? Last week we discussed pricing books by the page because books seem awfully overpriced to me. Well, it's not likely that the industry is going to start changing prices anytime soon, which means that, at least for the time being, books are going to remain rather expensive for the ravenous reader. Unfortunately, this means I can't always afford new books. Not that I want to. I actually like my bank account to be full and happy and, you know, not making me super guilty and stressed all the time. Thus, it's important to look at other, more immediate options to keep it satiated and still satisfy my desire to read at higher volume than in previous years. Therefore, after much grumbling and a ton of dragging my feet and actually debating whether or not I should just give up reading altogether, I've grudgingly relented to the power of used books. Now, my first thought when it comes to used books is usually a cringe followed by a shudder and maybe a grimace or two. After all, I've come across a sizable number of extremely gross, tarnished, ruined books in my search for new reads, and being a reader who actually cares about how the book looks and feels, I disliked used books so much that I wouldn't even step foot into a library. If my friend had to go, I waited outside. There was just something about someone else reading a book and taking it God only knows where that just really bothered me, you know? But, unfortunately, to keep up with my book review requirements and to be up to date on current releases, I had to cave. I mean, how can I really justify going to the bookstore and paying $20 plus tax for a brand new book when I've honestly seen last year's releases sitting on the used bookshelf for half the price? Sometimes they're even less than that. I've bought books for $5 or less, which is a steal. How can you really say no to that? I mean, that's four times the number of books for the same price if I just let myself open up to the idea of used books. Though, I'll be honest, it's been a bit of a challenge, to say the least. Even when I find a book that I really want, there are still a variety of reasons why I might turn it down. Broken spine, damaged dust jacket, stained, bent, torn, dirty, sticky pages. The former is really just a cosmetic issue and me being picky, while the latter is just gross. I mean, what are people doing with their books? More importantly, why is the bookstore trying to sell a book that is so visibly disgusting? <sighs> Ugh. Thankfully, in recent months, I have actually managed to find well-kept, clean, pristine used books. Well, I've found a lot, actually. I've been buying them so consistently that I could probably post a new book haul every two weeks. And they're starting to take over my desk, so maybe I'll post a picture on Instagram at some point. But the key to finding good used books is actually where you purchase them from. It's definitely apparent that certain bookstores have stricter and higher standards in regards to what used books they will sell, yet they're still priced about the same as any other used bookstore. This has been such a relief. I finally found a way to keep up with my reading and reviewing demands while also remaining within my itty bitty budget. Still, I have to wonder how long this is going to last. I mean, those books were still technically owned by someone else before me, and I like my books to be, well, mine, you know? But for the time being, used books will have to do. But what do you think? Do you prefer used or new books? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week with another video on Hectic Eclectic. Bye!